Hi guys, it's Shannon from MilkandCuddles.com. Today I have the easiest and most fun project, Universe Shoes. You're going to start with a pair of canvas shoes. You can do just about any color. I have an oatmeal colored here. You could even do black. It's just going to be a little harder to get lighter colors. You're going to need an acrylic white paint or fabric paint, and you're going to need some different colored permanent markers. I'm using Sharpies. You'll need a rubbing alcohol that you can put in a tiny spray bottle. So the first thing you're going to do is tape off the bottom rubber sole of your canvas shoes. Then you're going to take all of your markers and kind of make little patches of different colors. There's really no rhyme or reason, no right or wrong. Um, you can use ever, all the colors really close together. You can have a little bit of space. Just go to town. At this point, you're going to take your rubbing alcohol and put it in a container and really douse your shoes in it. This is gonna cause the colors to sort of bleed into each other and to run on your shoes. And it really makes a neat effect. Now, if you stopped at this point, you would actually have kind of neat looking tie-dye shoes. But since we're making universe shoes, we're gonna continue on. You can even add more Sharpie on top of where you've done rubbing alcohol if you wanna change the color a little or make it bleed into a, a different color. Once you've gotten it the way you like, you're gonna add a little bit of lighter colors for depth. And I'm using white acrylic paint and sort of rubbing it off a little bit. Then I'm gonna go in in some areas and actually hand draw a little star. You could add a little nebula, a little you know, a planet, whatever you'd like. But then you need the stars that are in the distance. And so the easiest way to do that is to load up an old toothbrush with the paint and give it a nice little push with your finger and it will speckle your whole shoes with little white stars. Then you're gonna need to let the shoes dry for at least 24 hours and you're good to go. Super fun, it's a super neat project. You'll have one of a kind shoes that are great for a fan of astronomy or in space, maybe sci-fi, a Doctor Who fan, lots of fun. Hope this was helpful, have a great day.